This is the story of two lions. Bella, a lioness we rescued from Romania five years ago, and Simba, a lion released from a French circus and then taken to a Belgian sanctuary. Recently, Simba made the journey from Europe to Malawi in the heart of Africa. At the Lilongwe Wildlife Center, Simba found a safe haven, and for the first time in his life, he also experienced the company of a lioness, Bella. Born Free felt that these two magnificent lions had been without a companion for too long. We've had a female here now for some considerable time. She's been very lonely, and so we decided that as we had the opportunity to rescue Simba, we thought this would be the ideal moment to bring him over and give her a mate. But the course of true love doesn't always run smooth. Bringing solitary lions together can be exceedingly dangerous. We're all here for the obvious reason that we're going to try and integrate these two lions tomorrow. There are a few criteria that we have to adhere to. The first one is lions can change very quickly, as you can hear. Despite his life of captivity, Simba is in his prime. Bella hasn't been so fortunate, and her body bears the scars of her early captive life. She has one eye missing. She has a spine a deformity, and she is 12 years old, so she's getting on. Born free, I've always wanted her to have a mate, and she's been quite lonely here for the last few years. One of the things that we have to take into consideration is when and how we intervene. It might look pretty horrendous to you what's going on in there, and I'm telling you to lay off. The fact is, I've got to make my mind up as to when they're starting to really hurt each other and when they're just posturing and playing around and making an awful noise. What is the plan? We've actually got two plans. If plan A doesn't work, we go to plan B. Lions in, in Malawi in general are almost extinct. There are not a lot of lions anymore uh, in, in the wild in Malawi as well. These two lions would be, a, would be perfect ambassadors for the lions in Malawi. There's an awful lot riding on tomorrow, not the least for the animals, who've been waiting to have mates for some considerable time. And all of the supporters of Born Free and, of course, the staff, we're all sort of hoping this will end up as a really happy ending. But tomorrow is the moment of truth. Today, Simba is going to enter Bella's night room. This will be the first time that the pair will be in the same enclosure. Does anybody know how long it takes a lion to do 100 metres? For Tony and his team, it's make or break day. Usain Bolt can run 100 metres in under 10 seconds. These lions are capable of doing it in four. So we have to have great respect. There is no way we can run away from them. We have to make sure that we're secure all the time. Actually, it's very easy. Yeah, so you've got the safety pin here. It is vital that every precaution is put in place. We've got a couple of fire extinguishers just in case that the, uh, yeah, the lines actually do start a big fight with each other and we, have, we need something to split them up. Of course, we can't go in and yelling or anything won't <laughs> make any difference. Okay. <laughs> So uh, with the fire extinguisher, we could just can put a huge uh, water pressure on them and hopefully that will scare them enough of actually to split up and then as, as long as they are separated again, we, uh, they hopefully will be fine. Well, hopefully we won't have to use it at all. <laughs> no, it's only in case of emergency. So you're all ready to accept what we're going to do there? Yeah. You all understand that there is a, a risk that we've taken all precautions to see that there's no more we can do. Everything seems to be right for the introduction. Female lions are always quite nervous of introdu 
being introduced to males because they are very inferior in strength. Males can kill female lions very easily. So although he's very laid back and he's doing everything we want, when we open the gate and she actually is in his face, that is the, the moment of truth. Arriving at the lion's enclosure, Tony knows that the time is right. She's in the right position, so just get in place. Right, that's perfect. I'm going to do this right now. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Sorry, open the gate. Close the gate gently. She's not looking. Look at him. You ready? Just, just hold it. Okay. Tony's raised hand is all that's coming between the tussling lions and a blast from the fire extinguishers. Expected that. Look, but that's how stressed she is. She's a lady. Look, look at her feet crossed. <laughs> it's as calm as you like. It's now Bella's turn to make the first move. She's in. She's in. She's in. Fire extinguisher at the ready. Don't go near his back. We turn on you. She's going to swipe him, you watch. That's better. That was a better one. That was a better one. She's not rushing back to him, so that's good. I think we might just let him go back for tonight and try again in the morning. So we haven't got the perfect scenario of a pair of lions together. So what we're going to do tomorrow morning, we're going to come back and do a much softer introduction by releasing her into the outside, opening his den and letting him follow her. Uh, we feel that outside will give them a more natural advantage and make them feel more relaxed. Coming through. Once bitten, twice shy, Simba refuses to venture outside. They take their time, but that's not very strange. These are lions which have been, most of their lives, they have been alone. Simba had never, ever met another female, probably, in his whole life. So this is actually the first time he meets a female. So it's not very strange that he takes his time. He's definitely going to go in. She's coming, she's coming. Do it now, now, now. A new day, and Tony has a new plan. The only way we could get him to come outside was to let him go out into his territory first. We then released her into his territory. So we took a chance and uh, the result is this. We 
have a situation where the animals are laying probably less than three meters apart and although there is tension there <coughs> what happens when you say everything's going well. This is a natural progression to lions becoming accustomed to each other. I'm exceedingly happy and so are all the staff at the Longwee and it appears that it's all going to turn out really well. As the days and weeks pass since Bella and Simba first met their relationship continues to evolve at their own pace. Everyone is working to ensure they both continue to enjoy the tranquility and space of their new African home in the way that is best 